Hi, welcome to Coffee with Katie. Coffee with Katie is an initiative that I started to help simplify the financial conversation. I'm Katie Brown, I'm a certified financial planner, and I have had the privilege of serving families for nearly 20 years navigate their financial landscape. This is the third of a three-part series on investing basics. And one thing that I've observed over working with families for a number of years is that it doesn't matter how much wealth has been accumulated, there's a foundational financial conversation that is sometimes misunderstood. So I wanted to take a step back. In the first video, I talked about reasons to invest and laying the foundation for investing. So things like setting your goals and figuring out your time horizon. In the second video, I talked about types of investments, kind of high level, the differences between a stock and a bond, and then breaking those down further to say, what is the difference between a large cap stock, mid cap stock, different types of bonds, municipal bonds, corporate bonds, things of that nature. This video, I want to talk a little bit about asset allocation. And really, this is kind of bringing all of that together. Asset allocation is the combination of the investments that you put together in your portfolio. And the asset allocation really helps to manage the level and types of risk. And so this goes back to some of those foundational conversations. You need to understand what your goals are and what your time horizon is to make sure you're putting together the right mix and that you are putting together the right level of risk in the portfolio. Your risk is, is the potential to go down. So what is that bandwidth of, of the mix of assets that you put together? And as we talked about, stocks have a, a larger bandwidth. They can be more volatile than bonds typically. And so making sure that you get the right mix of stocks and bonds and maybe some other investments inside of the mix is really important. I'd like to share with you a chart and this is one of my favorite charts. Some of you may have seen this before. This is the Callan Periodic Table of Investment Returns. And don't worry if you can't read it, that's okay. Really the thing that I'd like to show to you is this lack of pattern, this quilt that we see here. So this is looking at different asset classes. So we talked about like large cap stocks, small cap stocks. It's also international, emerging different types of bonds, high yield bonds, corporate bonds. So different asset classes are represented by different colors here. And we're looking at a year over year basis. So from 2001 through the end of 2020. And the point of this chart is to show you that different asset classes will perform differently on a year over year basis. Sometimes we have emerging markets at the top represented by the orange box. Oftentimes, they might be at the bottom too. They're, they tend to be kind of at the extremes. So we can see in, in large cap stocks are kind of toggling here in the middle and in most recent years, really right up toward the top. But there's no pattern. It's not predictable. That's what I love about this chart. And so this really does emphasize how important it is to have a mix of different asset classes because we can't guess which one is going to outperform. But if we have a good mix of them, then you should stay kind of in a steadier band in the middle. And that's where that volatility comes from. Ideally, we want to avoid being all the way at the top and going all the way down to the bottom and going all the way back up that, that roller coaster. If we could tighten that roller coaster a little bit to the degree that helps you achieve your goals, that's a good thing. So that, that's what asset allocation is really all about. And then the good discipline that goes along with that to make sure that you're adjusting it over time. Because when you're younger and you're perhaps you're investing money systematically into a retirement plan, then those steeper movements are really helpful to you earning more investment returns over time. But when you get to the point of retirement and you're taking money out of the portfolio, you don't want those large swings. That's not as helpful at that point. And so making sure that those adjustments are made over time to adjust your risk. But I also caution not to tinker too much. You know, investing is a patience game. There has to be enough time to allow a strategy to work. Pay attention to your gut feelings as things move up and down and make sure that you talk through any questions that you might have with your advisor. So I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions for me, I would love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to kbrown at mortonbrownfw.com. 
Thank you.